Is there a mistake pun you could make? <laughs> this whole thing is a mistake. This video is a mistake. This channel is a mistake. Hello and welcome to our long way to come back on the Tyler Williams channel. Today, we're gonna to be trying out a new series, trying out recipes that Gordon Ramsay absolutely hates. Loathes. Loathes. Loathes entirely. Despise, yells at. It's still walking, that piece of beef. You probably know Gordon Ramsay from some of his competitive cooking shows like Hell's Kitchen and Kitchen Nightmares. But as some of you might also know, he's not only calling people donkeys on national TV, he's also doing it on TikTok via Stitch. No, no, eggheads, get a grip, man. He's got a pretty prolific TikTok account where he almost exclusively reacts to other people's recipes. And in true Gordon Ramsay fashion, he usually thinks they're awful. Yeah, that looks like dog's turd sprinkled with with more shit. To be fair, there are some pretty peculiar recipes out there on TikTok, so his ire is probably justified. But we're gonna be trying them to see how bad they really are. And which one are we doing today? Live stream producer turned VOD producer, Carly. Peanut butter steak. There we go. Peanut butter steak. PB steak. Time. What? Time, yes, <laughs> that one. So Carly got us a T-bone steak and a jar of peanut butter, and I think we're ready for us to make something just vile enough for Gordon Ramsay to roast. Today, we are all idiot sandwiches. All right, so basically this TikTok is from Janelle and Kate, and I can't really tell if they're serious or if it's a troll. I mean, it's effective. Gordon jumped for this. It has like 1.2 million likes on his response. But basically what they do is they take a T-bone steak, they put it onto a skillet mm -hmm. or a pan. <laughs> Stop it. They cook it and they lather one side of it with peanut butter as it's cooking. Mm -hmm. Then they flip it and they do more lathering of peanut butter. Yeah. And the whole time, basically, Gordon is apoplectic. No, 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 you've drowned the poor T-bone. Apoplectic, Apoplectic, like that. Yeah, yeah, classic Gordon stuff. He's mad, yeah. he doesn't like it at all. Nope, doesn't like it. And they also do this weird thing in the middle where they then scoop sort of like the residual peanut butter in the pan and put it back into the jar, which I think is like a big no-no that you've contaminated the peanut butter. That's too far for me, what? Way <laughs> far, way far. Inappropriate behavior. No, no, kids, that looks awful, oh, hold on. Then they take it off and presumably they eat it, but there's no taste test. Why do they flip it straight onto the countertop? There's, there's no plate, there's no okay. plating process. How to screw a T-bone? So the question I have here is like, yes. where's the logic? Like right. I could understand it a little bit because like peanut butter has oil dynamics. Yes. So maybe they're like blending like the oiling of the pan onto right. the steak slash some kind of frying method. Yeah, they're almost using the peanut butter as oil. It's like marination, seasoning, and oil in one. Right. Right. Obviously, a lot of different regions use peanut and peanut butter. Oh yeah, big time. In their cuisine, could this be like a Thai T-bone steak? A Thai bone steak? That's the most forgiving, <laughs> I think, approach to it. Right. It's like okay, right. that, that's what they could be going for. So the the first question, Carly, did you look up at all? Did did you find any like complimentary recipes that are like, this is kind of what they're doing? Absolutely not. So. <laughs> Literally no. So, so this is a hellish invention of Janelle and Kate's imagination. This is their brainchild. And I did go to their TikTok account and they're not really a cooking channel. Oh. So this might just be an elaborate scheme to get Gordon angry. No, no! Let's close this. You're gonna give it to me? Yeah. I'll take it away. Let's get the T-bone steak out of the refrigerator. Yes. And let's do this. Okay. So we're gonna throw this steak onto this pan at medium high heat. Great. We're gonna use canola oil as our non-sticking agent. And then we're gonna throw on our steak for three to five minutes. How do you know all these things? Because I looked at the uh, shot report. <laughs> I looked at the, uh, what is it called? Run of show. Run of show. So it's Carly. Yeah. That's how you know Carly all these things. Carly has told me things. <laughs> I know things now. I can't say that I've ever actually successfully made a T-bone steak, so this is my first foray into making one. We are waiting for this to heat up. We are literally watching our hot plate heat up. I have a big pimple by my mouth. My mom has a mole in this area, so whenever I develop this pimple, which is actually often, I feel like it's some weird like telepathic thing. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that's possible? So these are the things you talk about while we wait for the pan to heat up. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like she's like, you know, haven't called her in a while. Oh yeah, that might be real actually. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah, that's a good noise. Okay, cool, sorry. And we're going, we're going. Ooh, sizzle. Let's forget about the oil that just sprayed everywhere. No. The sound is good. ASMR, one would say. All right, so it's been a few minutes. We've presumably cooked it 
some. So we're gonna come in now with our Peter Pan creamy peanut butter, not crunchy, creamy. No, 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 you are kidding me. No, God, no, please, no. And Peter Pan because Jif is currently being recalled. What's interesting is I saw that in the video they spoon it on and then they kind of almost use their fingers to like, I wouldn't say create a pattern, but to yeah. kind of like um, indent the peanut butter on either side, massage it, hand massaged peanut butter. I don't want the, uh, the peanut gallery to be able to say that I didn't get every inch of the T-bone here, you know? That was pretty good. You like that? Yeah. I have been working on that for half a second. You, you've been yeah. thinking about that one? It just came up, yeah. Well, I was thinking about the bit about my mom's mole since this morning. So, oh, really? Yeah, that was my planned bit for this video. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of getting whiffs right now. It smells really bad. Do you think it was the introduction of the peanut butter? Yes, because the peanut butter is, is Do you just, think the peanut butter is already cooking? It, it might be melting or cooking a little bit, but it's definitely interacting with the the red of the red meat. So, so it's like the bloody, bloody peanut butter. Yeah, which is not Yum. a great smell. Could it be a Bath and Body Works candle? No, but then again, you know, Bath and Body Works and their imagination runs wild. Mm. Yeah. Where are we also time-wise? You could flip it now. Okay, so I'll give okay, this a fast I really, take. I really hate to say it. I think it smells fine. It smells just like peanut butter. Accepting, accepting palate, accepting nasal cavities. Then we're gonna flip it. Okay. How do I do this? I'm gonna get this little chunk here. Here's here's the saving grace is that they do awful at this. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Okay, let me uh, also dole on this side. You ready? Coming in here. What's interesting that has happened now is that the steak has become suspiciously quiet. It is really silent in here. You know, like I was like sizzling and cooking and yeah. now it's just like muffled. <laughs> yeah, it's an eerie silence. It's the peanut butter barrier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I almost feel like. I have to blur this out. This? This is gonna be unmonetizable because of the amount of blood. It's just a black square. I'm worried that um, the the coating of peanut butter is gonna stop this thing from being cooked. Yeah, it, it is swimming in peanut butter right now. It's Maybe swimming that... in peanut butter, and I feel like I've lost a sense of seeing it becoming more cooked. Maybe that's why they scrape it out. What if we scraped it out and not put it in the jar to give it more cooking surface area? Is that you're so saying that like we Carly? To... Will you ordain that? I'll allow it. Car okay. Carly will allow it. <laughs> Judge Carly. Carly's trying this, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna flip again. Yep. And I think then we're gonna like basically scrape it off. Perfect. Yep. Oh, well, we're gonna use a ramen spoon. Okay. That, that feels right. In play. Okay, yeah. So let's try to get some of this out. So we can kind of give it some more cooking surface area. Yeah. Once again, not going back into the jar. Oh, I think that's like closer. Is it time to flip one more time? Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Carly says flip. Wait. Okay, so it's sizzling. Okay, right. yeah, there is there is a little sizzle happening. So I'm I was just I was nervous that it just like stopped cooking, but yeah, go for it. Um, okay, ready, ready. I'm gonna flip this way. Yeah, see, it's still it's a bit pink still. Let's do a few more flips. I feel like we need yeah we need a little more heat. Yeah. Okay, you, we are not gonna use this shot. This no, is just, let's get that shot out of there. <laughs> let's actually lose that shot. <laughs> Cut the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that it looking that's looking better. That looks more like what it was looking like. Yeah, let me try to mop some of this peanut butter up too. This is some good 360 action here. Your mopping is making this look more like a legitimate dish. Yeah. The peanut butter is starting to look more like peanut butter sauce. Oh yeah, it is. It is. Right, it's like it's slightly caramelized peanut butter. Ready? Yeah. And flip. Why does that look kind of good? I was gonna say, I just got a flash of it when it came out of the pan. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Why does that look kind of good? This thing might get cooked. Whatever's happening right now is not looking too bad. No. Or smelling too bad. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and your face was in there. My mom's spaghetti here. Let's do this. Everyone ready? Yep. Okay, and plating it. Let's get this little guy <laughs> untucked. There, ow, it's hot. That's good. Ow, it's really hot. Did you touch it? Yeah, it's really hot. Ooh, the peanut butter's hot. Oh, it's way hot. Oh yeah. It's hot. That's well, well done. Too well done? Sorry guys, that's on me. I guess I was so nervous about it not cooking that I made us overcook it. So I don't think that the standard cooking protocols apply to this steak stuff, okay? Plus, I think they burnt theirs to a crisp. How to screw a T-bone? I give you nut steak. <laughs> I can't decide if it looks gross or appetizing. Well, you're gonna find out in your mouth. <laughs> How do you set up a D's nuts joke again? <laughs> Just like, like that, that was perfect. <laughs> um, okay, how do I approach this guy? Let's get a cross section. No one's eating this but us. Let's get a cross section of this bad boy. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Cross section cam. It's definitely like cooked, but 
I think it like looks kind of good. It could be edible. Oh, it almost looks breaded. You know what I'm saying? Like it almost looks like a steak nugget. Oh yeah. Like a wet steak nugget. It kind of does. It's been on my fork for a second now. Let me put it in my mouth. <laughs> you kind of got to go fast or not at all. A lot of my mouth. There's a lot in your mouth? Yeah, it's like a toothpaste steak. There's like a extra viscousness in there. Toothpaste? It's like a very, the, the material is very thick. The material? There's a lot of paste. Yeah. <laughs> What's the flavor like? I don't know. You haven't even gotten there the yet? The texture was dominating. It's not steaky. No. And it's not peanut buttery. No, neither? It doesn't taste like a lot right now. <laughs> So rather than cooking the peanut butter flavor into the steak, we have cooked both flavors out. Why don't you try this and see what you think? You really gotta think on it, right? You see what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tough, because I thought the words would just come to me. But it's been, it's, it's more complex. Definitely overcooked it. Yeah. I'm, 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 I swallowed it though. Oh, you got it down. It tastes like a plain steamed Brussels sprout smells. <laughs> All right, let me let me try a saucier bite here. Yeah, try in there. It looks a little bit tenderer in there. It's better with more peanut butter, I gotta be honest. It does taste like a peanut sauce. That's okay. what it tastes like, a little bit. All right, let me try that too. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, bite number two. I've had like five or six bites now. I kind of like it. I could eat this. It's growing on me. It's not a million miles off from a satay. We're actually like eating a fair amount of this. Yeah, we're eating a lot of it. <laughs> and it's not bad. All right. Final thoughts here. Given the expectation and the shockiness of the visuals going in, I actually can take multiple bites of this thing and enjoy it. Right. It delivers a solid steak product to me. I tend to like sort of semi well done steaks too. Yeah. I like raw air steaks as well. Yeah. I like sort of both. They're good in different ways. But I think that in terms of like an alternative steak type product, like a beef steak or something like that, it's pretty fun. I think that coating the steak in thick layers of peanut butter was a weird way to cook it. Because mm -hmm. it almost overcooked it very evenly. Right. Because it sort of like Ins insulated it. Insulated it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blubbered it. No, 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 you've drowned the poor T-bone. But the flavors of steak and peanut butter are really not bad together. So do you think that Gordon's ire was justified? Or was it, was it correct? I mean, Obviously he's going off visuals, but what do you think? Should Gordon give it a try? I think that Gordon was right to be upset about this. Oh, for God's sake. Now you look like you're frying a freaking diaper. But I would like to see Gordon use these flavors and do it well. Oh, it's because I feel like I feel like there's something there. Right. There's some kernel of truth yes. in this troll TikTok recipe. I will concede that I feel a palpitation or two over in the heart. So maybe like the You feeling that cholesterol hitting? Cholesterol plus mm. the peanut butter. Maybe it's not the healthiest snack, but hey. I'm pretty proud of it. I feel like this is definitely keto. Oh yeah. I don't really understand keto. I don't either, <laughs> but I think it could be keto. So we've learned a lot here today. This is <laughs> our attempt at making a recipe uh -huh. uh, that Gordon Ramsay really didn't like on yes. TikTok. And I think that was a pretty good first round of the show. Apologies to steak lovers everywhere. Yes. Apologies to actually everyone who watched this video. And on that note, if you enjoyed this video, you can smash or gently tap that like button. Yes. And if you want to see more videos like this, we're going to do this more often. Not we this. Not this. But videos. Videos in general, you can smash or gently tap that subscribe button. Here here are our social media handles where we do social media type stuff. Here is our merch website where we do merch stuff. And with that, we will see you guys the next time. Here's my pitch. Pitch me. It's a beef Wellington. Okay. But inside, it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich around the beef. Okay. I feel like maybe we might be able to get him to react to that.